Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to add borders to your modules, rows and sections. In this video we're going to show you how to add box shadow. I've got a page here. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Okay I'm going to go down into the section. We've got a blue tab for a section, green tab for a row, dark tab for a module. Let's go into the section. If we go over to our design tab, we can go down and just below border, we've got box shadow. Now remember we're working on the section here. So to add a bit of shadow to the section, you've got several you can choose from here. And as you can see, it's giving it a little box shadow on the bottom there. Choose whichever one you want that works for you. And there's inset as well. There's an inset box shadow for us. So I'm going to just pop that one on there. Once you've got the shadow you want, you can change the horizontal position, make it bigger or smaller. The vertical position makes it up and down, as you can see there. The spread strength will spread it out or not. You can change your shadow color down below. Just choose whatever color you want, as you can see. And you can go in there, once you've chosen a color, you can change the opacity, which is see-throughness or transparency, to adjust it how you wish. You usually go with a darker one, mate. With a dark one, again, you can make it lighter or darker by simply moving the little slider within the color panel. If you wanted to, you could change that from an outer to an inner shadow. For this particular instance, I think an outer shadow looks a lot better. This is an extreme example, but I'm sure you get the idea. And if you don't like what you've done and you want to return it to normal, simply just don't save it. Hit the X instead of save. If you like what you've done, hit the check mark. You can also get some fantastic other effects with box shadows. If I make the section dark background, I'll just give you a perhaps a black or a really dark grey background. You can get some glow type effects if you want to using borders. Let's go into this module here perhaps. Because we changed the dark background, let's change that text to a light colour. Okay, well let's go down to our border now. Just below there's our box shadow again. What we can do is add a little box shadow like this. You can't see it because it's dark on dark, but if we go down and change that to a light type color, you can get a background glow type effect. So these are great to play around with to get some sort of almost neon type effects if you like that sort of thing on your site. But do play with these, they're very easy to work with. And like I say, if you like what you've done, save it. If you don't like what you've done, don't save it. You can also give it just that effect on hover if you wanted to by simply rolling over where it says shadow color there. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you ro roll over the dark writing, you'll see some icons appear. If there's an arrow there, you can set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when your mouse is on it. So let's say on the desktop state, let's bring the opacity all the way down so you can't see that glow and go to the hover state when the mouse is on it, put that color back in there. So when we're not hovering over it, you've not got it. When you are hovering over it, you have got it. And the time it takes to go from one to the other with Divi is 300 milliseconds. If you want to speed it up or slow it down, you can do that over in the advanced tab, down to transitions, and there's the transition duration, 300 mils. Let's slow it down to 500 just for a bit of fun. And we'll save now save the page changes and exit the visual builder there's our little blurb module then when I hover over it it should have that little purple box shadow there we go and that's a nice little eye-catching effect to have on your site so there you go guys there's how to use box shadow with the Divi theme I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.